Well, happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm Doug Walker. Behind the camera, you're looking at Jacqueline White, our health and wellness director, in front of the camera. And since it is Tuesday, that means we're going to demonstrate another piece of equipment. Now, this piece we're looking at today is not really brand new, but it is kind of different, and it's kind of hidden away in the smaller fitness room, but it can do a lot of good. Jacqueline, tell me what this piece of equipment is, and what do you do with it? All right, this is called our Matrix crank cycle. It's a Johnny G crank cycle. Uh, so it's a lot like an arm ergometer. So we have another arm ergometer in our larger fitness area. It's really limited though as far as you can only go in this kind of split position. What's nice about this one is you can move the arms independently and you can do a push or pull motion. So I'll show you real quick. Anywhere you see these bright yellow kind of handles or levers, that's your adjustment. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower this a little bit. I'm kind of short, so you want this to be um, chest level. Now you can change your resistance. There's a resistance knob right here. So if you move it to the plus, that'll add resistance or you can take away resistance. So I'll start with just a one arm. You can't do this on some of our other arm ergometers. So right now, I'm doing more of, the, more of this pushing motion. Now at any time, I can also get them going at the same time. Now this kind of works for core as well. So I kind of hunker down and you can get the core going. I'm gonna increase my resistance a little, make it a little tougher. So I can get both arms going in the same direction with this pushing motion. Now something else you can do is you can get one up and one down and you can do that kind of split position is what we call it. Now what sets this machine apart as well, I'm gonna return it back to that upright position. Now there's a lever right here where you can actually rotate it. So it's in the locked position right now. I'm gonna rotate it around. Maybe I wanna go in and I wanna do um, more of a pulling motion now. So I lock it into place so this whole piece turns around. Now you can again do one arm. So I'm pulling, hitting my back now. So I can do one arm. You know, maybe one arm is weaker than the other. That's what I like about this is you can really hit one arm at a time or you can hit them both at the same time and really focus on that pull. And again, you can kind of do that kind of 180, that split. Now, if I wanted to hit a few more muscle groups, I can also split my stance and do a lunge. So you can go into a full lunge if you wanted. And that makes it a little tougher. But that really hits on that back, that pulling motion. And then at any time, you can rotate this guy back around, lock him into place, and he's ready to go. So this kind of looks really simple, but uh -huh. the way it works, works just about everything from the thighs on up. Right, so it really depends on what you wanna get out of it. So if I wanna be upright here, you're gonna work a little bit more of that core because I have to stabilize myself as I'm either pushing or pulling. But if you wanted to incorporate some of that lower body, you can get into that lunge. Now you can pull this guy down. Again, chest height. And then you can really get him going again while staying in that lunge position. And this also is good for cardio because oh, yeah. looking at you doing this for just a couple of minutes, I mean, you start to hop yeah. and puff a little bit. Yeah, I'm sweating already. So this is for sure a cardio um, piece of equipment, but now with that resistance, you can incorporate that strength training with the cardio. Now, one very important thing, and I'm going to show it down here, is that people who may mm -hmm. be in a wheelchair, mm -hmm. this is absolutely wheelchair accessible for anybody who uh, it has a disability. Mm -hmm. Right, so they can just wheel right into the backside, and this little lip kind of keeps their wheels in place, but it also is nice we can put our feet here as well. So, this is a, another piece of equipment that Jacqueline has demonstrated. What's it called again? This is the Matrix Crank Cycle. Sounds like something out of the Matrix movie. Yeah, All it's right. neat. And uh, 
once again, we are expecting some brand new equipment coming in, part of a $130,000 investment mm -hmm. here at the Y. And we have some new pieces probably coming in, so Jacqueline will be back next Tuesday with a look at some of the new equipment. Jacqueline, thank you very much for thank joining you. us. She's our health and wellness director, and we appreciate you watching this video. Again, we'll be <laughs> back next Tuesday with more demonstrations on all the great equipment you'll find right here at your YMCA. <laughs>